Hey everyone, so I got a comment from one of my viewers named JHB and he wrote, can you also do a video about the good things or benefits of working as a customer service representative or something like an inspirational video to keep us pumped up? I like hearing your perspective and tips. JHB, thank you so much for supporting my channel. This video is for you. I have prepared a long list uh, of the benefits of working in the call center industry. Let me begin with the most obvious reason and benefit for working in this industry. And that is the salary and the benefits. Now, I did a research online and the current salary, current minimum salary, minimum wage of the Philippines is from 290 in ARMM, which is the lowest, with the highest of 500 pesos a day for NCR. Now, I think we can all agree this, that, that this is really low, especially if you have a family to raise. Four years ago, before I started in the industry, I was getting around 220 pesos a day. Now, 220 pesos a day times 24, which was the number of days that I worked per month, I was getting around 5,280 a month. Now, subtract 800 for that, from that, because that was for my boarding house, and another 800 because I had to send money to my parents. So I was only left with 3,680 per month. Now, that is mind-blowingly low, really. And it was just so sad, and I lasted in the city with this, with this money for almost two years until I made, made the decision to finally apply in the call center. And that was the best decision I've ever made in my life. I was just so amazed that when I was offered the job, they actually told me that the minimum basic salary was 14000 That was almost triple the salary of what I was getting as a, as a cashier and as a service crew. So that was, all, that was really a mind-blowing experience for me. I was so happy that I received that amount. And that was the best decision I've ever made in my life. No kidding. So if you are currently working for a job that's just not satisfying you financially, then it's probably time that you consider working in this industry. Currently, by the way, the basic salary of a call center agent is around 14,000 to 20,000 pesos a month. Now, take note that that is only the basic salary, which means that there all there will be additional bonuses as we go along the video. So, keep watching. Attendance bonus is a bonus that you're going to get if you have a perfect attendance. That means no absences, no lates, and at the end of the month or yeah, I think once a month, you're going to get around 1,000 to 3,000 a month. Again, it depends on the company. It could be lower, it could be higher, but pretty much all call center companies in the Philippines do give attendance bonuses to their employees. Now, this is not something that is, that is exclusive to call center, but since most call center agents work at night, then the Philippine law requires them to have a 10% increase in the hourly rate. The night differential, by the way, only applies if you work from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. So if your working hours fall within these time frame, within these hours, then you're going to get a 10% additional hourly rate. Now, Depending on the company, this could vary. Some company give out rice allowances to their app to their employees. Some give out a free cell phone with a monthly load. Some give out a transportation allowance. But pretty much if you're working in a call center company, you're going to get this kind of bonus. If you are a CSR, chances are you're going to get a fixed performance bonus 
if if you meet the metrics, the performance bonus for a CSR usually ranges from two thousand to five thousand pesos、uh, a month. Now again, this will vary from company to company, just so just keep that in mind. But if you are a sales rep, then your bonus will depend on the things that you're gonna be able to sell. Now the good thing, if you are a sales rep, is your bonus is not fixed, which means you can increase it if you want. So if this is the model that you like when it comes to earning money, then you are gonna do just fine. So just imagine how great it would be. If your performance bonus exceeds your basic salary, but again, whether or not you are a customer service representative or you are a sales representative, you're always going to get a performance bonus. In the Philippines, we have PhilHealth, right? PhilHealth covers our hospitalization cost, but on top of PhilHealth, your call center company is also going to pay for an additional. Health coverage. There are things that Phil Health cannot cover, unfortunately, and this is where the added HMO comes in. Where I was working, we had the company MaxiCare to as our added HMO. So, as a call center agent, this is so important because you are more prone to stress. So, you really need all the health insurance that you can get, and the company, all the companies in the Philippines, do provide this. This is not something that all call center companies have for their employees, but I definitely heard of some companies who offer these benefits to their employees. So count yourself lucky if you're one of those employees. Now, vacation and sick leave. This was definitely not something that I had when I was working as. A cashier. If I'm not mistaken, both of these are paid. So most of the time, it is one day of paid vacation leave for every month. So for each year, you're gonna get 12 days of paid vacation leave. So you can use this time to de-stress, unwind, and just relax. Because the job is so stressful. You are definitely entitled to have two days off per week. The standard is you're gonna get a salary increase every year, but again, that depends on the company. But if you're working in the call center, rest assured that you're gonna get a salary increase. A referral bonus is a bonus you're gonna get when you refer an employee to the company, and that empl and that applicant is accepted. So far, the highest referral bonus that I heard of was around twenty thousand pesos, and that is if the employee reaches at least six months in the company. So this is a great side hustle if you want to earn an extra income on top of your call center salary. So, now that I have discussed the benefits and the salary of a call center agent, let's proceed with the free stuff, the free stuff and the amenities, and I have it listed down here. So, the one thing that really blew my mind when I was working, when it was my first day of working as a call center agent, was the pizza day. That particular company that I was working for had this day called Pizza Day every Friday. So what the company does was to order a pizza for all the agents, and we would just have a food trip. This is something that a veteran call center agent would take for granted because this is normal in a call center workplace. But if you're a newbie in this industry and you're gonna experience your first pizza today, I think you're gonna be mind blown. I was certainly, I I certainly was. And during the pizza day of that company, aside from eating pizza. We were also playing parlor games, and one of the parlor games was this game called Wheel of Fortune. So it's like a roulette that you have to roll, and the prizes are money. And during my first Wheel of Fortune, 
I got around 147 pesos. And I was just so mind blown. It was just something that didn't happen in my previous workplace. For me, in my previous workplace, 147 pesos is something that you have to work for per hour to get. And I was just so amazed that I was able to get it from a parlor game. So, I mean, okay, well, this is not something that I know that this is not something that a veteran call center agent will probably be amazed at, but it was my first day having that kind of moment and it was amazing. It was like I discovered a treasure and I, up to this up to these days I still can't forget that moment. Some companies usually have a lounge where employees during their break time could watch a movie or play computer games and use their gadgets. Of course, this is not something that every company has, but if your company has this, definitely consider yourself lucky. Coffee is very important in the industry, although I rarely ever drink coffee but i certainly um, know a lot of agents who cannot survive the job without coffee so coffee is definitely free in the call center industry for big companies with the huge buildings this is definitely something that you're going to find the sleeping quarters there are employees who just want to take a lunch break and after right after the lunch break they want to sleep or within their 30 minute break they want to to take a nap so this is very important and usually when i go to a sleeping quarter it's usually almost full and i think this is such a great idea because it's a way for the company to tell their employees to show their employees that they care about their health Now, if you are an extrovert, this is definitely something that you're going to like. What happens during a team building is all of the team in that account or in that team usually go out for a party. And the party usually happens at the beach or at a, at a resort or sometimes, oh no, most of the time in a form of an island hopping. Um, that's definitely the case with my previous employer and I am an introvert but I am definitely looking forward for each team building per year it this usually happens at least once a year once or twice twice if you're lucky but definitely this is something that you're gonna appreciate once you become a part of this industry if you're someone who puts a lot of weight in your career growth then probably consider working in a call center. And that's because promotion in this industry is really fast, especially if the company is a company with a lot of accounts. You can aim for a lot of different positions. You can be a team lead who will be managing the team and interacting with your agents. You can be a QA to listen to calls and rate each call's quality. Or you can be an account manager who will be supervising the whole account. Or you can be a trainer who will help trainees understand the basics, the basic and the account. So there's a lot of decisions that you can climb up to if you set your mind to it. Now, let's talk about the skills that you're gonna learn in the call center industry. The most obvious one, of course, is your English fluency. Of course, this could vary depending on your account. You might be serving and might be speaking Spanish, French, or a different language altogether. But definitely, if you're, if you're going to be working in this industry, you're going to learn another language that is not Filipino or Bisaya or that is just different from your vernacular language. Now, remember... Being able to speak a certain language, knowing the grammar rules, is different from communicating effectively. Having a great communication skill 
will allow you to know how to negotiate effectively, how to persuade your customer, and how to sell. Now, when I say sell, I'm not only talking about selling a product or a service as a sales rep. If you're a CSR, you should be able to sell the idea that you know exactly what you're talking about, that you know more than the customer. You should be able to persuade, and that's what I mean by communication skills. Also, aside from listening to what the customer is saying, you should also be listening to the nonverbal cues. That's what I mean by a communication by communication skill. Um, this is something that you're gonna have to do every single night, every single shift. So over time, you're gonna gain the experience and you're gonna get better at it. I'm not saying that you're gonna be perfect when it comes to communication, but definitely you're going to be improving from, from the day that you start working in this industry up to the last. Working in a call center will boost your confidence you become more assertive. And this is because you have no choice. You're going to be talking to customers who will always insist that you're wrong. The only way that you can survive this is to act confident. Over time, you're going to be able to develop this facade, this appearance, this tone of voice, that of confidence. So definitely, this is something that you will also be able to experience in in other areas of your life, especially when approaching strangers and talking to people. So I am still an introvert myself. Of course, I'm not trying to change that. But working in a call center definitely helped me with my in terms of confidence. Um, when you start working in a call center, you just become aware of the habits that make you look shy and timid. And you try to get rid of that proactively. And the more you gain the experience, the more you're going to sound confident over the phone because that is the only way that you're going to get your customer to listen to you. So over time, you're going to look more confident. Look and sound confident. I'm not sure if you're going to consider this as a benefit, but for me, it is a benefit. And that is when you work in a call center, you become westernized a little bit, westernized. And what I mean by that, I mean that in a good sense. I'm not saying that we should definitely forget our being Filipino. I'm not saying that at all. But I think that in terms of being assertive, being confident, I think we can learn a little bit from the Western people. Western people, when they want to say something, when they want to refuse, when they want to say no, they usually say it. They usually say no. They are honest about their feeling. They're straightforward. They are upfront. And which is the opposite to us Filipinos. We Filipinos, we usually are afraid to offend people. So we usually say yes, even if we want to say no. So this is one of the examples of being westernized. And I mean that in a good sense because most of us are going to be talking to Western people. So I think it's also important that we are able to speak our mind more confidently, more assertively. And this is what I mean by that. I don't know if that you, can, you would consider that as a benefit, but I definitely do. I mean, we are at an age now where we're not only staying in the Philippines, we're also going to be interacting to other people around the globe. So I think it's important to kind of know how to, to, to deal with these kind of people. And the last benefit, and probably the most life-changing, is it will allow you to open doors of opportunities. What do I mean by that? So when you work in a call center, you're going to have enough resources, enough money to pursue whatever it is that you want to pursue. For example, let's say that you're not really planning to stay in the industry for a long time, that you want to leave. Well, working in a call center will help you have the resources, enough resources, enough money to pursue your goal. Maybe you want to learn a new skill. Maybe you want to pursue a degree. Whatever it is that you want to do, you will be able to finance your goal by working in this industry. 
So even if it is not your planned destination, planned final destination, it is still going to help you catapult you to success, whatever, whatever, however you define success. In my experience, if I hadn't worked in the call center, I wouldn't be able to actually know that there are ways that I could make my life better. I was able to interact with people in all walks of life because I worked in the call center. I saw more of the world. It basically widened my horizon. Sometimes it's bad, obviously, because I have to talk to irate customers. But at the same time, there are good times. There are times when I'm able to talk to people that I want to emulate, whether it's within the company, my bosses, the, the people that I admire, or my customers. Sometimes I talk to customers who are the people that I want to emulate and copy. And this somehow will help me kind of develop the confidence that if these people can do this, why can't I? So you, yeah, so you, expo you become exposed to different types of people and it's only a matter of time before you actually want, you, before you find the people that you want to copy. And you begin to think and you begin to dream bigger. So that's just my take on it. That's what I think about it. So for all of you who are still in doubt, who has this belief that call center is a dead end job, uh, Def, I encourage you to think twice because I don't think there is such a, a thing as a dead end job if you know exactly what your plan is in the future. Do you want to get promoted? Do you want to stay in the industry? Or do you want to pursue a different path but finance your dream using your call center money? So it's not only about money. It's not only about getting a great salary, but it's also about learning skills and being able to dream bigger. So that is all. I think I have already discussed all my list here. So I think that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. And JHB, thank you so much for submitting your question. If you have any questions, all of you who are, who are watching this video right now, comment down below and I will make a video for you in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.